I was sent this camping mat to try out and give you some thoughts and impressions. So on the top it unrolls, it comes in this bag here. So it's kind of like a stuff sack that rolls down. And then this bag also has this really nice carry strap. Let's take the pad out and check it out. All right, so here is the pad. It is self-inflating, so we're gonna try that out as well. So it has these two straps, Let's just unstrap like that, and this comes off. And then the pad here has a valve, so we can unroll it, just like that. That's quite long, and then we're able to open the valve by unscrewing it. So there are instructions here on how to inflate and deflate it, but basically this side is the inflate. And if you want to do it super quick, you open it like this. And then if you want to deflate it, you pop it like this and then it should let the air out. And right now we can hear it, it's inflating. So we have to give it some time and it will just inflate itself. So once it inflates as much as it possibly can, and it definitely is not 30 seconds, this took about five minutes or so, we noticed it still didn't have as much air as we preferred. So you're gonna take this nozzle piece on the stuff sack, pop it right in, and you want to have it so this yellow piece is facing um, up and then pop it all the way in. There you go. And then you're gonna take this stuff sack and you're gonna kinda of use it like an accordion to just shove more air into the, fat, the sleepy pad. So I'm gonna do this and then I can fill in more air and just kind of manually shove some more air into the mattress pad. This is about as much air as I can get into it and it's feeling quite firm. So I'll just pop this out, screw this back on, and then, have a really nice camping pad. It's actually quite comfortable. I'm lying here on concrete and I really can't feel any of the concrete underneath me. Um, these nice little ridges are comfy. So I'd say this is a really good pad for sleeping and it wasn't that hard to use.